Hi, I am Dr. Amit Gupta. I am based out of Ahmedabad. I own a group of centers called Usmanpura Imaging Center. I am a radiologist by profession and also an MBA from ISB Hyderabad. So what happened was, uh, in around May end, Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation released a list of 100 doctors who were COVID positive. When we saw that list, we saw that most of the doctors are our known doctors and most of them are friends. And at the same time, there was a lot of chaos in terms of PCR testing. There was not a single test available without a hospitalization in Ahmedabad at that time. At the same time, we got some reports from Europe and US saying that, you know, CT is a very good tool to see uh, ground glass opacities and have a very confidence to see whether uh, it is a COVID or not. So we thought that, you know, if we save a lot of doctors, we can save a lot of patients. So we started a free campaign for them where we told that any doctors who want to get a CT scan done, we would do a free HRCT for them. So that is what motivated us to do HRCT screening for the doctors in Ahmedabad. So we scanned around 300 plus doctors till mid of July. We found out more than 230 doctors to be positive. And amongst 230 doctors, around 80 doctors were asymptomatic and rest of the doctors were symptomatic. All of these doctors who tested positive had ground glass opacities in their chest. So most commonly, we see bilateral ground glass opacities on a CT scan, which are more located towards the periphery and mostly present in all the lobes of the lung. More were present in the lower zones. We started scanning mostly in the month of June. Towards the end of the June, we saw uh, a lot of new patterns in the opacities, which tested COVID positive. Some of the most prominent and striking patterns were the ground glass opacities in a single zone, a single lobe, unilateral. A few cases, almost around 20 cases, we have seen where the patient is presented with only bilateral pleural effusion, a very thin strip of bilateral pleural effusion. More than 30% of the patients who, whom we saw ground glass opacities in the lungs, we also found perinephric fat stranding in those patients, which was a very striking finding. CT is highly sensitive modality when it comes to diagnosing COVID. The sensitivity of the CT is more than 97%, whereas the other modalities rest up to 70%. The diagnosis in the CT happens very fast. It happens in a span of minutes. The most striking thing which I feel is that in CT, what happens is one is able to see the lesions. So we can compare whether the lesions are increasing or decreasing. And also if there are any associated findings in the chest, helps the clinician to take calls on the basis of CT scan, whether to send the patient to the ICU or not. One more thing which helped us a lot in doing the CT scans for the COVID management was the ACER technology, especially which helped us to reduce the dose which was given to the patient. As it is a very fast modality, what is happening is, lot of surgeons have made a protocol as a pre-operative screening tool for their patients. Second scenario is a lot of adaptation is happening in terms of hospital staff screening. So a lot of our colleagues are getting their hospital staff screened for COVID so that their patients don't get the disease. Thirdly, what we have seen is uh, a lot of dentists are sending patients for screening because they by far feel that they are the most exposed in this. One striking protocol which we have developed is we started measuring the SpO2, oxygen saturation for all the patients and mentioning it in the reports. So by pulse oximeter, we measure the oxygen saturation for all the patients and it, it is mentioned in the report for the HRCT thorax. For any patient who come for a CT scan, wearing a mask is the most mandatory thing. The staff who handles the patient has to be in a proper gear with the mask and gloves on and has to change the mask and gloves at a definite interval. We have gone through almost 4,000 plus patient screening for the COVID positive patients. After doing such a huge number of screening, what we have observed is if AI comes into picture, the scanning and the reporting becomes so fast that the CT scan would replace all the other tools for scanning in COVID than any other modality available in the world. So I think AI would be very promising if AI comes into picture, it would help the governments and to scan the patients on a mass scale. So in the Ahmedabad scenario, I would say that, you know, we have screened more than 300 doctors. So there's enough confidence which has been developed in the clinicians. 
these doctors have come for a repeat ct scan as a follow up scan for them also few specialties which earlier never referred a lot of scans to the radiology clinics have started referring scans for screening of chest like skin specialist dentist and most of the general practitioners are now referring patients to us to look for the covid changes in the chest